Good morning, everybody. Today is our last school day of the week. I'm going to read you a book today called And Then It's Spring. First you have brown. All around you have brown. Then there are seeds. and a wish for rain, and then it rains. What is the rain good for? And it is still brown, but a hopeful, very possible sort of brown. And is that a little green? No, it's just brown, sort of brown. Then it is a week. And you worry about those little seeds. And if maybe it was the birds. Or maybe it was the bears and all that stomping. Because bears can't read signs that say things like, Please don't stomp here. There are seeds that, and they are trying. And then it is one more week. And the brown, still brown, has a greenish hum that you can only hear if you put your ear to the ground and close your eyes. And if you look at what's going on under the ground, you can see that it looks very busy. And then it is one more week. And a sunny day, that sunny day that happens right after that rainy day. And you walk outside to check on all that brown. But the brown isn't around. And now you have green. All around you have green. And that's the end. So this book was all about spring and how it comes up on us all of a sudden and I've noticed a lot of signs of spring and all around in my backyard. So since it's spring break, I want you guys to spend some time outside and see what signs of spring can you find. I'll see you soon.